Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to explain how to set up a file share witness for a cluster. And if you don't really know what that is, let me explain it very, very quickly. If you do know what it is, just be a second, but you could skip ahead if you want. Basically, uh, if you want to set up a cluster, you're going to have at least two servers. So uh, back in the day, those are physical servers. Today, they might be virtual machines. It doesn't make much difference for the purpose of the cluster. But the idea is to get high availability. And to have high availability between those two boxes, you need to have something that can vote. And it needs to be a majority of things that can vote on the status of the cluster. So if you've got two nodes, great, that's two votes. Okay, but guess what happens when one of those goes away? You have a one to zero vote. So a yes and a no vote. So that's not enough, that's not a majority. You need something to break the tie. And the cheapest way to do that is with a file share witness. Basically, it, all it is is a third vote. Now, we have a client that you're looking at right now who, if you look at the bottom here, you'll notice just has the cluster core resources. And yes, this is a two node cluster, by the way, but doesn't have a file share witness. Now, we don't know how the heck they did this, but there it is. So we're going to fix it. First thing you need to do, create a file share. And before you do that, you need to know the name of your cluster because you have to also set it up so that that cluster can read and write into the share that you're about to create. And when I say the cluster, just in case you're still confused, when there's a cluster, you have all of your nodes, all of the machines that are participate in the, in the cluster, but then there's also the cluster itself. And it's basically just a virtual construct that lets people connect to it rather than directly to the nodes. So if one of the nodes goes down, you don't care. They're still connected to this virtual construct called the cluster. Okay, so where do you get your name from? Well, your name's right there. That's the name of your cluster in the top left-hand corner in your failover cluster manager. Let's go off to a, a third server, a completely unrelated server, and we will create a file share. We are just going to create it in C utils, but you can create it anywhere. Let's create new folder and it you can call it anything you want. I'm going to call this plus U3 because this is our U3 cluster. Then right click on it, select properties, set sharing, set advanced sharing, click share this folder. That name is fine. Set the permissions to everyone. You don't really have to. This is the old NT4 permissions, but we still do it. So put it to everyone and then go to security and in the security tab, click edit and add in the name of your cluster. That's that virtual construct we were just talking about. It needs to have full control in here. So select add, and this is where people get caught. If you just type in the name of your cluster and do check names, it isn't going to find it. Why is that? Well, because the default search is for users, groups, or built-in security principles. What you need to look for are computers. Remember, this is a effectively a virtual machine, not to be confused with a VM that we all talk about <laughs> these days. So just go to object types and turn on computers. Let's go in there, then do a search for your machine. Click check names, select the cluster you care about. Click OK, click OK, and make sure it has full control. Click OK, and that's really all you have to do here. Then go back to your cluster, right click on the name of your cluster and select more actions, configure cluster quorum settings. Read that very carefully. Select the quorum witness, and you'll notice when you do this, these items change over here, but let's go to select quorum witness. Configure a file share witness. Where is it? So you can browse to it, like next. Cluster voting yes is enabled, next. And click OK and look at the bottom here. You can see the file share witness is now set up and the cluster is healthy. So, hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe's also always appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.